Good morning, everyone, and thank you for being here. Today is a special day, and that's because it's not often a player comes along who defines your team and the NFL, for that matter, for the better part of a decade, like LaDainian Tomlinson. I remember the Friday before the 2001 draft like it was yesterday. John Butler, our GM at the time, said we had a deal with Atlanta that included switching first round picks. I said, great, and then asked him who he liked with the fifth pick. And I clearly remember him telling me, well, there's this great running back from TCU who could help us immediately. It's funny now, but I also remember asking, is he any good? <laughs> and I remember that John said, yeah, he's gonna be something special. So it's with a great deal of pleasure uh, that I introduce the newest Charger, LaDainian Tomlinson, a Charger now and forever. Thank you. Uh, what an awesome day this is. Uh, it's been a long journey, to say the least. Uh, you know, and obviously when, when you stand up and announce a retirement, there's so many people that that need, needs to be thanked. And, um, you know, first off, obviously, the Chargers, Dean Spanos and this organization is, is the first people that, you know, obviously, like Dean said, I reached out to. is because when we had a conversation, when I got ready to leave the Chargers, Dean said to me, would you consider coming back and retiring as a Charger? And without question, you know, uh, I said yes because I always felt like I was a Charger. You know, I want to thank my coaches as well as some great teammates I had. You know, my offensive line, you know, I, I always felt like, you know, they were my best friend. And, you know, I used to always do things for them just out of the goodness of my heart because they never got any credit for it, but they battled their butts off in the trenches. And I really appreciated them, and that's why I always tried to make them feel special whenever I could. And so I want to thank all my teammates, you know, obviously my quarterbacks, Drew Brees, Phillip Rivers, guys I played with, guys that, that really knew how to play the game, very passionate about winning. And that's why we won, because we had very passionate guys that wanted to win. You know, my family is, uh, speaks for itself. You know, my mother here is, is, is here with me, and, uh, <laughs> you know, she pushed me as a young kid. You know, she realized that I had a dream at a young age of playing in the National Football League. And what she did as a parent, she sacrificed, just like parents do. She sacrificed for a kid who had a dream to play in the National Football League. You know, my wife, Latorsha, who has been with me you know, since college, and has hung in the good days, the bad days, the days where we don't feel like talking after a loss, after practice. You guys know what I'm talking about. A lot of my teammates, ex-teammates are out here. You know, she stuck, she st stuck in there with me and always encouraged me as well. And I really appreciate her, appreciate her because, you know, she pushed me and she also kept me humble. There were times where I, I started to get the big head, yeah, I'm the MVP, and all this kind of stuff. But she said to me, you know what? You still my husband and you still got, got chores to do at home. <laughs> you still got kids. And so, you know, all that puts it in perspective, I, I, honestly. I've been playing football 20 some years. And, and so at some point it almost seems like school every year where, where you sacrifice so much and there's so much that you put on the line mentally and physically with your body, everything. And so today, I take the words of Junior Say I, I feel like I'm graduating. I really do, you know, because I got my life ahead of me. I'm healthy. I'm happy with a great family. And, you know, I'm excited to now be a fan and watch you guys play. 